Hi everyone, Chris Loxley from Loxley String Studios here. Um, I was going to record a quick video today about sort of a little bit of 12 bar blues, walking blues, bass lines, and sort of some of the beginning steps um, that you can take as a cellist to play a little bit of blues. So I've been working through this with one of my students, Nate, over the last couple weeks. And really, we kind of boiled it down to some basic arpeggio study as being a really good starting point for any of your bass lines that you're trying to create in a 12 bar blues form. So if I take C for example, the basic arpeggios that I really want to get under my fingers are going to be C major, F major, and G major because those are the three uh, chords, one chord, four chord, and five chord um, that fit into the 12 bar blues. And from there, I want to think about add six and add sevens, which essentially means the sixth of whatever chord I'm in. So for example, in C major, that's gonna be an A, and the flat seven of all of these arpeggios, which in C major's case is going to be a B flat. Um, so I study the arpeggios kind of as a first thing that I can do in a classical sort of way if that's what you've been used to and accustomed with working on. And when you do that, when you practice plucking through them, you're gonna get a C7 arpeggio that goes like this. arpeggio that sounds like this, again, F major minor 7. And finally, a G major minor 7, which is going to go like this. So you're going to have to study those till you really get them under your fingers and you're rock solid with them. And at that point, I encourage Nate to start to add a little bit of rhythm, but play the arpeggios exactly as he normally would, simply plucking a little bit extra, adding a swung rhythm, doing something like this. So it would be as follows. Once he got comfortable with that, I encouraged him to start walking back and forth between notes, you know. <clears throat> now, last thing you heard in there that I told him was, it's nice to get a little bit of pitch bend in there on the minor to major third. So in C major's case, it's from E flat to E natural. that either with a bend or a slide or with a chromaticism of just a two three so I can go and slide or I can just hit it with a hammer with my left hand so hammer two three so that gives me my major minor third that's gonna kind of give it that bluesy feel and the last thing I mentioned to you at the start was an add six. So that's another arpeggio I can practice. So, with all those different types, if I practice my add six, my add sevens, and I also get that, that two to three, either bend or slide or hammer going, when I combine all of those things, I can start to practice slowly to get my, my blues bass lines written out. Now, I'm gonna basically just, I'm gonna show you how relevant this is to actually playing a blues bass line. Um, I'm going to play a note for note seventh arpeggio of in C, F, and G as fitting into a 12 bar blues format. And you're gonna see just how kind of good it sounds and how much you can do with it, right? So it's like.
you saw, I had one or two little mistakes in there, so apologies for that. But you saw, I was doing a very vanilla bass line, meaning I was sticking very much note to note with those arpeggios that I had already studied and what I was going to do and just giving it a little bit of rhythm. You can go way off more off the map than that. And you heard at the very end there too, I also utilized a little bit of chromaticism, you know, walking up chromatically. I right, almost a true chromatic scale all the way up there at the end um, of one of my bass lines during, you know, when I was going about to do the turn. Um, so, you know. just by studying that arpeggiated seven, you know, seven arpeggiation, if you will. C, E, G, B flat, C, B flat, G, E, C, in that C major chord and then the F and G that I showed you. And really studying those hard and breaking them down and then giving them some rhythm. And sometimes it's just as easy as a swung eight. about how you can play with that form. Hope you have a good time with it.